Hey YouTube, uh, this is just a short video. For anybody that's purchased a, a Colossal Mini in the past, uh, you might notice on the newer ones that are out, they have this new upgraded uh, effector assembly. Well, I have a few of the older style Colossal Minis with the, the original effector with the hot end down below. And I recently purchased uh, one of the newer upgraded models that have this new design which uh, features uh, an attachment point for a, an end stop mount which uses the hot end itself as your auto bed leveling feature. It also features two fan shrouds on either side, one for cooling the uh, heat sink and one for cooling the filament. And another neat feature about this is because of the positioning on, of, of the device on the top of the, the effector, it gives you effectively 20 millimeter more print height. What I decided to do was reverse engineer this effector assembly using 123D design. And uh, you see here, this is the result. So here are the four components. Everything is uh, to scale. Everything that matters, that is, is to scale. Let's assemble everything here. Take a look here. We have one fan shroud which cools our filament and I made a slight modification to this point here where I have uh, a down angle here to help direct the flow of air. We have our end stop mount here we have our main fan shroud here to cool off our heat sink and our bracket here to hold our hot end in place. If we take this assembly here and we want to simulate the motion of our uh, what would happen when we uh, run our auto bed leveling software we're going to hit our hot end against the bed and then we're going to trigger this assembly up like this and that's going to release the end stop and then when we come back up off the bed the spring is going to force this assembly back down engaging our end stop again so I thought it was a neat little design uh, and it gave us so many benefits uh, the first being a 20 millimeter increased print height. The second being on the original Castles, your your fan assembly that cooled your your uh, filament was under. No matter where you put it, it was going to be under one of these uh, brackets to connect your rods, your tower rods, and it it came out on an angle, so it reduced your print area in that direction. But in the, with this assembly, that fan shroud doesn't affect your uh, your print area at all. So we actually get to use a whole 180 millimeter of our bed instead of uh, 160. And thirdly, we have this auto bed leveling setup that only requires our hot end. So we don't need any kind of contraption on here that flips down the sensor and then flips it back up when we're done. Uh, I'm not sure of how well that this auto bed leveling feature works. Um, if you choose to use it, you choose to use it, but I personally like this this setup for the other two features that I'm going to have available. So I designed this for myself and for anybody else out there in mind who have the older Castle Mini or just the Delta in general and you want to try this assembly. Uh, I'm in the process of printing one out now to test fit all the parts, but my measurements should pretty much be exact to the original. You can find the model file on Thingiverse. I'll put a, a link in the description below, 
And if you have any uh, questions, just put them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching.